We're going to go outside in a minute. You really want to think that niggas with money think different. You know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas is football playing niggas. They got the money, whatever. These niggas, you know what I'm saying? They on a different level. Only to find out this, these are just niggas that play football. They got money. It's not no fucking different. These niggas think just like niggas in the street. Most of the niggas don't even know what the fuck to do with money. They got to hire a white motherfucker to tell them what to do with it. And then they get fucked by them motherfuckers. It don't matter. The fuck? How you going to find out? You know what I'm saying? You going to be broke anyway. They'll tell you that, well, yeah, you spent it, man. You spent it. to the Big Fetch Podcast. I am A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation. Alright now. And this is... I done been down and out. I done been down and out bad. Stop that boy, Getty. He from Alabama. Greensboro, Alabama. I ain't no Greensboro fucking existing. There's a place called Greenville. I need to come uh, get a holler at me. I'm trying to come up there. I'm going to do a live show up there, motherfucker. I know y'all got a hood gas station up there, motherfucker. Y'all holler at me and shit. Um, but, yes, get your uh, fucking All You See Is t-shirt. The grades are going for 15 Um, The rest of them are going for 20 Your Big Facts podcast snapback is going for 25 Um... Go right here, paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10. Um, I say that if you're not AO Nation, you need not even attempt to get the merchandise. And what that means is if you're not someone, that doesn't mean you have to agree with everything I say. It's, this is not a fucking cult. I've been getting a lot of fucking, I'm noticing I'm getting a lot more messages about. How do I get in AO Nation? What is AO Nation exactly? And, and you know I'm looking at these fucking pages and shit like that. Weird fucking pages. I'm pretty sure it's the fucking feds and shit. And it's not... You know what I'm saying? This is what they do. This is what they supposed to do. Like I said, you already know my background. The feds and how that me. What is this? Two times in my life I've seen them in... You know what I'm saying? Their form. They've talked to me. Two times first time they tried to get me to work for them while I was in jail the second time they wanted me to aid and assist them to lighten what it is they were going to do to me I'm not I'm, I, and you know most times I, I do everything I, I handle my business by myself and shit like that yeah but I'm saying that I'm not surprised that the feds are alive and well these are the invisible people this is y'all niggas that do not mind recording yourself doing a I don't I don't even you know what I'm saying? It's 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 a lot of shit I don't record and I won't say it here. There's a lot of shit I don't say around a phone. Um with the battery in it or not. Um The shit y'all niggas doing is fucking retarded. Uh if you'll do anything with a weapon, anything with drugs, um, on camera you're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot. Not just because you're giving up, you know what I'm saying, what it is you're doing, and giving them f every right to come in and, and bam your ass and then use that video in court to, as a character, you know what I'm saying, to prove what kind of character you have. You're just making it easy for them to get a conviction in any, at any time they want to, meaning they can frame you for anything and say, see, this is what kind of person he is. But also for you to drug yourself you know, um, we're going to talk about what we're going to talk about in a minute, but do you know, like, uh, during wartime, uh, the Nazis, I think they were the first recorded to do um, brainwashing experiments. And they introduced these, you know, the, the PCP, uh, what you call Sherm, Molly, uh, methamphetamines. They used these fucking drugs um, to get... Um, intelligence 
spies to tell them shit, to do what they would normally not do. Um, and you're doing this shit to yourself. And it's something, obviously, you're not going to hear what I'm saying because you're doing drugs right now. Um, and you don't understand the correlation in between the two. Um, and all I can hope is that you wake up sooner than later and understand what you're doing to yourself. Every day that you are getting intoxicated on anything is another day that you squander another day that you will be held back from your full potential so if you're broke if you're in a situation right now whether it be financially spiritually sexually you know what i'm saying wherever the fuck it is and if you you're in that you know what i'm saying that in between and you can't get to the next level smoking drinking popping pills you know what i'm saying whatever the fuck you're doing is not going to get you any closer you're actually going to be not only stuck in that spot but move you're going to regress go backwards um and that's just, you know, I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to talk to you because somebody need to hear that. Um, now, let's let's walk down this Kyle Kaepernick shit, whatever. Um, this should be open and shut. Uh, my only issue too much with it, you know what's going on with Colin. Uh, Colin Kaepernick is the new face of Nike, which means uh, Nike is now the new face of the Black Lives Matter movement, which means burning Nike apparel is now the new insignia for the Ku Klux Klan. They have now traded out the crosses for Nike apparel. Um, Because we always find little ways to show who we are. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it was Trump. If you vote for Trump, then you're a racist. Now, no. But before or during Trump, it was if you voted for Trump, then you're a fucking racist. If you say all lives matter, you're a fucking racist. You know what I'm saying? It's all these little small situations and shit like that. If you if you gave money to Zimmerman, you are a racist. If you say that OJ is guilty, you're a racist. It's always little things uh, during time that we choose what side of the fence we're on, uh, which which you decide who you are. Um, and this is just another one of those things. Uh, my issue. Not my issue. What I what I hope that we're gathering, that's all I want to do here, is highlight things that you may have missed. Um, I'm hearing that Alabama um, is no longer allowed, uh, is no longer getting their uniforms from Nike, and I'm wondering how that's going to go over. Let's let's not forget. I'm the one who introduced the um, the plan, saying that no one should play any sports. No black man should play any sports until Colin, uh, Kaepernick gets back in. That's what I said. I said, why in the fuck is this shit only, you know what I'm saying, um, why is this an isolated incident to just football? This should be, if, if, if this is a black problem altogether, it's no longer about Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Trayvon Martin, OJ. It's bigger than those people. It's about the situation, and why don't we as a whole black people as a black community come together and say we're not going to korean shops we're not going to wear weave and we're not going to play sports we're going to totally withdraw ourselves from a situation until it is fixed we're not going to have children we're going to stop everything we're not going to give you anything because you're using our children as fucking coal to fuel your racist terrorist train. Your racist terrorist train is the fucking private prison system. The criminal justice system is ran off of the children that black hood rats have. And they feed the black bitches through Section 8 and welfare. We put money and food in you and you give us children. We put money and food in you, you give us children. We numb your mind with the music, which the privatized prisons pay the head of the music industry. I've already told you about the golf course where all of the, the people who are with the bullshit go and they put money into whatever it takes to keep that bitch having babies. Whatever is going to keep that hoe having babies and niggas not focusing on what the fuck is going on around them, whatever we have to do to keep these niggas shaking the fuck up, 
we're going to pay for that. They do this. This is what happened on the golf course. Privatized prison. I'm not going back into it. I know I got new subscribers. I hope my old subscribers tell y'all what's going on. Right now, we're talking about what the fuck I was saying. This should not be an isolated situation. If we want to show our true power, we should stand united and say, LeBron James, not even all of us then. LeBron James, Steph Curry, Kyrie Irving, you pick them. All the stars, I'm sitting out. He took a knee that strengthened me. It has to be no NFL players playing. None. But because um, they've treated the mind of the um, the uh, Negro woman so well, if you go read the Willie Lynch theory, they've treated her mind so well to where now, as I've told y'all before, um, she is the right hand of white supremacy. Uh, because she had to be, in order to protect her children, she had to be the right hand of white supremacy because she didn't want his hand to touch that child because what she witnessed was what his hand could do, which is tar and feather set a fire and rip the fucking slave apart by tying all of his arms and legs to fucking horses and slapping them going different directions. So, because she didn't want that to happen to her child, she did everything that she had to do to make sure that he would not buck up at that fucking white man. And that was Willie Lynch's idea. His theory he said, if you do this correctly, it's going to last for hundreds of years, if not thousands. I need, if you're an AO Nation, it is your assignment to read Willie Lynch's theory, the actual document. The actual document so that you can understand exactly what it is I'm saying. I want everyone that is with me to be with me mentally also. We need to be on the same wavelength. I don't want to talk over your head. I don't give a fuck about these motherfuckers just passing by. I need motherfuckers that's riding with me to be riding with me. So now we have the situation... Right here in front of our face, once again, a white motherfucker has to step up before niggas do. I'm trying not to get upset, my nigga. I'm trying not to get upset, my nigga, but it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why in the fuck do Nike have to come to our rescue? Why the fuck did Colin have to come to our rescue? This motherfucker. It don't matter how you come, whatever, whatever. I'm just saying, dog. I just really wish we could have a full-blooded nigga, man. Do some shit for niggas, man. It's always some missionary coming from a different fucking place. Having the odds of the animal. They're so fucking savage. This is bullshit, man. It's never us, though. We can never break through the motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, and just do some shit. What's wrong with us? Coward ass niggas? I talk, you know, uh, if you know me, then you know. I got, you know, uh, my family member um, is on, you know, is within the NFL. Um, he doesn't play. Um, but he's within the NFL, and I asked him what, what um, what is it, how, like, how is this whole thing going to end with this whole NFL thing, whatever like that. He said, it's not going to happen as far as no strike. Ain't going to be no strike. These niggas ain't going to stand together. And I was surprised by that, because you really believe that, you know what I'm saying, when nigga, what's going on? What you doing? Ah, uh, what you doing? We'll go outside in a minute. You really want to think that niggas with money think different. You know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas is football playing niggas. They got the money, whatever. These niggas, you know what I'm saying? They're on a different level. Only to find out this, these are just niggas that play football. They got money. It's not no fucking different. These niggas think just like niggas in the street. 
Most of the niggas don't even know what the fuck to do with money. They gotta hire a white motherfucker to tell them what to do with it. And then they get fucked by them motherfuckers, it don't matter. The fuck, how you gonna find out? You know what I'm saying? You gonna be broke anyway, they'll tell you that, nah, well, yeah, you just spent it, man, you spent it. You know, we charge this much, and hey, man, just... We just so fucked up, dog. I, I'm, 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 I'm trying to, like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying that, dog, I don't, I don't understand how hard it is to say they can't play sports without us. Don't we have the power? Like, how, how are we not on top of sports? You can't, there is no sports without us. It seems pretty fucking simple, but the thing is, the reason why I asked only the stars to sit out was I didn't want anyone to suffer financially because I'm not going to put a financial burden in front of you if I can't um, fix that problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, so obviously I can't fucking fix, you know what I'm saying, what you're going to miss Financially, I feel like if you tell a bitch to quit a job, like how um, you saw Adrian Broner, he told motherfuckers to quit their job and shit like that. I got ten thousand for you. He was acquiescing them to where like it's gonna be fine. Ten thousand, get your mind together. You can start your own shit with this, whatever. And motherfuckers were hesitant to take that shit, maybe because they thought it was a joke, whatever. But if a motherfucker comes to a fast food restaurant and say I got ten thousand for you. It shouldn't really be no thinking. If you don't believe it, that's 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 why you work in fast food. That shit that shit said so much for him to offer ten thousand dollars and everybody to still keep working. Won't even put their head up. Won't even put your head up because you don't believe in yourself enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really don't believe in yourself because you understand that quickly that $10,000, you wouldn't do anything with it but fucking spend that shit. You know what I'm saying? You pop, you're going to lose that job before you make $10,000. Before you make $10,000 at that fucking bullshit-ass job, you're going to lose it. You're going to get fired or you're going to quit. You would have took your whole everything right then and there and put that shit where you needed it. You could have bought you if, if you had if you didn't have a car. You could have bought a car. That's the most shit. I'm just saying that shouldn't be no. But that's 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 how low we think of ourselves. That that's that's how much we don't believe in ourselves. That's what little faith we have in ourselves. If a white person is not giving it to us, we don't need it. If a white man would have walked into that goddamn fast food place and offered anyone $10,000, they would have, me, 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 he would have offered $1,000, me, 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 I want it, I quit right now for you, man. That gesture spoke volumes of where we are mentally. And this thing... With Alabama, my, I don't, and it, it, it would have to be Alabama, you know what I'm saying? Like, down here in Alabama, like, you know what I'm saying? Fuck that nigga shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, they just step on anything that got anything to do with a nigga. That's understood, you know what I'm saying? They had to be the first one to raise their hand, like, oh, man, we can knock that Nike shit. Fuck that shit. If y'all behind that motherfucking traitor, as if he's some type of fucking traitor... He did a peaceful protest of the anthem in t- to bring awareness... To the injustices that were taking place. But in your eyes, Alabama, there are no injustices. It's as it should be. Niggas going to jail, niggas getting murdered. And we have to take part of that blame. If they were getting done this way, mountains would move. But because... Not only is it done to us, but we brag about it. We wear that as a badge of honor. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. and free my nigga. R.I.P. and free my nigga. There are no uh, petitions. There are no uh, movements formed 
towards the streets as far as the streets go I'm not going to go I'm not going to go into that cuz that that shit gets so because I'm finna go back into the whole shit where we letting these motherfuckers do it to us so you know what I'm saying like the fuck But what what what's I'm trying to see what Alabama University what's going on with you the issue that you have with Colin Kaepernick is he's not respecting the veterans <clears throat> I'm not fully knowledgeable about the situation, but I'm pretty sure that I could get about a thousand veterans in a matter of hours who say the same exact thing, which is we're not being treated very well. Our country, our city, our state. I said a thousand in Alabama. That would tell you that they've been forgotten about. They've been overlooked. They, they're they not being, the love that they show their country is not being reciprocated in their time of need. The only, I'm not going to point out all of the motherfucking peaceful protests that have taken fucking place. There's plenty of motherfuckers who have refused national anthem. This shit breaks down to race because white boys did it, nothing happened. White boys did it more blatantly. Nothing happened. This breaks down to niggas. And it breaks down to the fucking police. And it, 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 it just, these are the things that it breaks down to. He said, niggas are getting killed. I can't salute a country that turns a blind eye to niggas being murdered by the officials appointed to protect them. And your response to that is those officials are doing their job properly. Quite well, if you ask me. But instead of voicing that, you do what I say everyone does, which is speak without speaking. 95% of communication is nonverbal. I agree with the police, meaning those niggas don't deserve to live anyway. And our response to that as niggas, our response to that is, you're right. You're right. Because as niggas, We'll keep. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Racism is alive and well. Um, I do believe that race is a fucking distraction to what is really going on. Because during 9/11, um, the perpetrators did not give a fuck about race. As long as we are bickering about this race situation, we will never fix the true problem. We will never get to face the true evil. As long as they can keep us. I was a race nigga. Oh shit. Oh. We uh, black, white, immigration. Oh. Social media go crazy about this shit. Fuck this. Y'all ain't finna do shit. I've been told y'all. Until everybody sit the fuck down. Everybody sit the fuck down. As black people we sit the fuck down. We not playing no sports. We not buying no fucking hell. We not having no fucking children. 
Our children aren't going to school. Big Fast Podcast. I'm Elkin Seiko. Make sure you go to the PayPal. See you in a minute.